What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Dash Life. It's your boy, D Dash. Yay. Thanks for tuning in, bro. It's the first episode. I am not a celebrity podcast, man. <laughs> Let's do it, man. So pretty off top, bro. Why the name of the podcast? I would say because just like it says, I am not a celebrity, bro. I'm a regular dude on the internet, man, and just making videos. And I don't know. I feel like there's so many podcasts nowadays, so it's like, why choose mine, I guess, is if you're, like, the first time listening, uh, if you're just even finding me on YouTube, I guess, like, for me, I'm just a regular dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm really not that crazy special, man. I'm just a guy who loves content creation, um, and I feel like podcast is a good way for me just to, like, throw my ideas out there, give my opinion on something. Again, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not some, you know, I'm not Cameron Garnett. I'm not PewDiePie. I'm not... Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's so many podcasts nowadays. So it's like, why listen to me? I guess I'm just going to give you my honest take. Just a random dude in the world who really has... I'm not saying I don't have value to the world, but it's like I'm not impacting so many other people's lives. So it's like my opinion is my opinion. It's not going to be protected by like my own image, I guess I would say. I don't really... I don't know, man. I'm just a dude trying to make a podcast, bro. If you want to check it out, check it out, man. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. Um... <laughs> Yeah, man, like just so many podcasts nowadays, bro. It's kind of it's kind of it's overwhelming, and it's like I'm just kind of adding to that over to that anxiety for everyone trying to find a podcast to listen to. So I apologize. Um, I don't see. I just feel like it's something that's cool to do. You know what I'm saying? Just turn the microphone on, turn the camera on, and just kind of just talk for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of more for me. And if you benefit from it, bro, cool. That'll be that'll be that'll be awesome if someone benefited from this, man. Because I'm just really just a regular dude, and I keep saying that, but. That's how I kind of feel I am, and I think that's, like, the authenticity of this podcast is just, like, I'm really just someone in the world, bro. I don't know, and I'm not, like, some big-time person influencer, you know. Your boy got under 1,000 subscribers. It would be nice to have, like, 3,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying, but your boy's under 1,000, and if you found this podcast, bro, damn, you're one of the first ones to see me, so that's pretty dope. <laughs> uh Pretty much about this podcast, man. What I really want, <clears throat> what I really wanted to do with this podcast, man, was like just go around like the city and just kind of find a cool spot, sit, talk in nature somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And just talk to you guys about stuff. But today, bro, it's hot, bro. It's today's July third. Tomorrow's July fourth. But it was just so hot, bro. My phone was overheating. The mic recorder thing was overheating, bro. Like it was just, just a lot going on. So I was like, bro, there's so many like camera malfunctions and stuff like that, man. So I was like, bro, let's just pack it up, go back to the crib, cool down, get in the AC. And I try to set up a nice little mise-en-scene. If you know what mise-en-scene means, it's like the setting or like the canvas of the uh, of the film. I don't know. I learned it in film school. I really don't remember. But I try to. It's a nice little setting for you guys. So like here, like my paintings. I had. I used to paint. I'm not gonna say that I used to paint. Cause I'm trying to paint more again. And I'm not. I'm not gonna call myself like a painter or an artist. But like during the COVID, your boy was like, you know, what I'm saying your boy's bored. And I saw, like, this Jim Carrey documentary about, like, him needing color or something. I don't know. I feel like I kind of needed the same thing. And, like, I was like, bro, let me let me try this little painting thing out. You know what I'm saying? So your boy went to Five Below and got some art. You know what I'm saying? Got some canvases. Got some paint. And this, you know what I'm saying? Just started painting. I think this one took a far. I don't know if you can see. I don't want to grab it because I don't want to mess everything up. But it's one in the back. It's, like, one of the first ones I ever did. But I was just like, so hyped to do that. I don't know. Something about, like, painting, bro, and, like, bringing an idea or an image I don't know, bringing that to the real world and putting it out physically on paper so other people can see it and so you can see it externally as well. It's just like, damn, it's crazy to me. Like, I know these aren't, like, the greatest paintings, but, like, since it's, like, my idea, it's, like, from my own brain, it just seems so cool. I don't know. And I'm kind of sad that I stopped, like, painting for a while, you know. But I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to it. But I got some more blank canvases back there and then I got to order some more paint on Amazon. That should be coming in pretty soon, but... Yeah, definitely going to start painting again, man, and and just having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like just being, if you want to be an artist or a content creator or anything in the world, bro, you want to do anything, just have fun with it, bro. Like, that's going to be my, my slogan going forward, bro. Just having fun with it, man. Just trying to have fun with it. And, like, that's just what it is, man, because, like, sometimes you get too, sometimes the details and the work around how things work just gets too complicated, and it gets draining, bro. Like, draining, like... I love like making YouTube videos, bro. But the more I gain knowledge and how to grow as a YouTube YouTuber, it just makes me not want to fucking like make videos at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I understand you have to like make it this, you have to make the thumbnail, you got to do this, you got to market it, you got to post it on this time and that time. It's like, dude, ah, uh, uh, and I end up not doing anything at all because I'm already tired from my regular work life and personal life, you know what I'm saying? And then like trying to go into be a content creator, bro, it's just so overwhelming. And it's like, bro, I'm not, I'm not even having fun. It feels like a second job, which I don't want to go to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like clocking in work, clocking in late. I'm doing a half ass job. I'm like, I'm on my phone throughout the day trying to make a YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm like a terrible YouTube YouTuber employee. That was a ter terrible analogy. Hopefully I explained that right. I don't know. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, what was I even trying to get to? Like, yeah, I'm trying to set up a nice scene for y'all so y'all can like, you know, so it looks kind of cool, you know, but if it don't, you know what I'm saying? Next episode, hopefully I'll be out in nature. You guys can hear like the nature sounds and all that, man. But yeah, man, what are we even talking about today? Uh, off top, you know what I'm saying? You see the jersey, you know what I'm saying? Your boy's been a big time Celtics fan, bro, since I was a little kid. I actually became a fan in 2008 when we won the championship, and I became like a big three fan. You know what I'm saying? Then Rondo kind of emerged. Sorry if you're, not a, if you're not a sports fan, but like I'm a Boston Celtics fan. We just won the NBA championship, bro. And it's just like so crazy just to see to see it finally happen and witness a championship. You know what I'm saying? And so your boy is big hype this summer. And I'm probably not going to take this Tatum jersey off the whole summer, bro. It just is what it is. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, super, super dope, super dope, man. Uh, very excited for the NBA offseason. I just saw Clay Thompson went to the to the Mavericks. And it's like, damn, the, the Splash Brothers are broken up, bro. Like, uh, it just sucks. I know because Clay's one of my favorite players, bro, because I love – I'm a shooter. I would call myself – I'll consider myself a shooter, you know, best shepherd in the county when it comes to basketball, bro. That's me. So it's like seeing the Splash Brothers broken up, bro. It's like, damn, man, that's just – Sucks that he couldn't finish his career there and money got in the way and all the business stuff, you know, but that's tough, man. Uh, Bronny James got drafted. I don't know. I didn't know a damn player in, the, in this M this past NBA draft, to be honest. All I knew was Bronny James and LeBron James' son. But it's like, bro, we got to stop hating on LeBron and Bronny for getting his, getting himself in the NBA or getting his son in the NBA, bro. It's like, dude, like LeBron came from nothing. Dude became the greatest basketball player of all time. Dude became a multi-millionaire, damn near a billionaire soon. Dude done sent so many kids to school. Dude has, is a great family man, great father. And it's like, what was he supposed to do? Not let his son get in the NBA? Like, his son wants to go to the NBA, so why not make it happen for your son, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, people always talk about, like, you know, people who are, like, have got this are born with a silver spoon and a lot of... African Americans aren't born with a silver spoon like that, man. So when we finally get someone who 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 has all the money and all that, he's gonna give his son the silver spoon, his whole family the silver spoon, bro. Why not create that generational wealth, bro? You know what I'm saying? So we gotta stop with all that like hate toward Bronny, bro. Same with like Lavar Ball. Like it just sounds so crazy to me how like a black father, you know how the stigma is for black fathers in America is anyway. And it's like they're really like the elite they're doing the craziest stuff changing things you know what i'm saying making things happen on their own accord and we'd be hating on them i don't get it it's weird man very weird but uh i guess i don't even know i mean i gotta i made some notes it's just like i say no i'm so unprepared bro what was i talking about oh the boston Celtics. you know you're saying boom uh <laughs> why am i not a celebrity because i gotta pay rent and I gotta pay rent, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get that YouTube check. No, I'm playing. But uh, I guess, you know, politics. You guys want to talk about politics? Ooh, I should have planned this better. The debate happened recently, right? I'm not gonna lie. I'm really not a political person at all. So I didn't watch the debate. Um, I remember like back in the last presidential election, though, I was like, bro, I'm not voting because. I don't understand what's even going on. So it's like, I'm just not going to vote. And then, like, I got a lot of, like, a lot of my friends were, like, trying to enlighten me and, like, not to vote. You know what I mean? Why I should vote? Why it's important to vote? And, well, you need to just vote for this party so that person doesn't win. That person, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And I ultimately didn't end up voting. I didn't, get, I didn't, I think I'm registered to vote. I don't even know. I'm really not political. Per I'm not enlightened on that at all. And that's my fault. I take responsibility for not being for not being educated on, like, politics. I was in school, bro. I was not listening to any of that. I just, it's, I'm not saying I don't care about it. It's very, definitely very important. It's just something I didn't focus on for myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize to the world. I'm just really not educated on the matter. So it's like I chose not to vote because I don't know what I'm voting for. And now I'm seeing, like, people are, like, not in favor of either of the candidates. 
So it's like, do we vote for the candidates then? Do we just still like vote for one party so the one party can keep winning? I don't understand it, bro. Again, if someone wants to enlighten me in the comments or have like a low Skype, low FaceTime kind of thing, we can do that too. But it's like, am I saying something that's like immature or saying something that's dumb? I probably am. I'm really not that educated when it comes to politics or it comes to things like that, to be honest. But probably why I shouldn't have a podcast. But here we are anyway. Geeky, geeky. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, that's why I choose. I'm really just not. I just not. I just don't go with that political route, bro. I'm just not really in tune with that. I get there's very like touchy subjects that are very important. Which if one person wins, they could affect this person and affect some people's lives. So it's very like a touchy subject for me to talk about. Cause I'm not. Again, I'm not educated on it. But I just saw like the memes about them talking about golf, their golf swing, and. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro, this is why I don't like just getting involved with it because it just seems like a bunch of just rich white dudes just talking about nothing and they got a little bit of power. And it's just like, bro, I'd rather not just be involved with that. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Again, I probably am much educated and probably saying something that's very dumb. But uh, hey, what up? It, uh, you know, I don't know. But yes, but yes, like I was saying, today is July 3rd. As I'm filming this, tomorrow is July 4th. And it's kind of a bittersweet feeling for me, man, because I really did want to, like, go back to my hometown, Ithaca, New York, and, like, be with my friends and my family and just, like, celebrate the day with them and celebrate the summer, you know what I'm saying? Have a nice cookout, being around family, laugh, giggle, chill with my friends, man. But your boy, unfortunately, has to stay back stay back home for, for the holiday. And it's just, like, I just wanted to talk about how, like, how important family and friends are to to me, at least, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's very important that you keep your loved ones close and let them know that you care about them very much, you know? Because, um, like, now that I'm not being there, it's like I'm starting to hurt, feel more and more. I'm starting to see, like, people coming in from out of town, taking photos, and it's like people hitting me up, like, where you at? Are you coming? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, damn, bro, I can't make it this summer. But uh, let me turn my damn phone off. So you see, I told you, bro, I'm a bad podcast host. But I'm going to get better. It's, it's episode one. We're going to get better at it, okay? It's <laughs> but, yeah, man, family and friends. It's just like, damn, I wish I could be there. But, you know, sometimes you got to just, sometimes just don't work out in, circum in, circum in certain circumstances, you know. But uh, I just think it's very important to keep your family and loved ones close and how it's important, how when you're, when you with, when you're really with your tribe, that's the people you really can, like, feel comfortable to be around, let your guard down and open up to. And I think that's important that each human does is just be, be able to have that space to, be free, you know what I'm saying? And I always have that protective barrier over you, you know? But, we, but yeah, speaking of, like, July 4th, though, I, th I think the one dude who was, like, the Glizzy Gladiator, I can't remember his name, Joe something, damn. But I guess, like, he went vegan or something or vegetarian, so, like, they're kicking him out the National Hot uh, hot Dog Eating Contest, bro. I, used to, I, ain't lie, I, was, I was into I was watching that ESPN, bro. My bro was going crazy. Like, he was doing double glizzies, dipping them in the water, nasty work, but... Anyways, my bro was really going crazy on the hot dogs, bro. So it's like, <laughs> anyways, I just hope I just wish you guys a great holiday. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Happy July 4th. Stay safe. You know what I'm saying? If you don't think it's fireworks, run. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Um, but say that is a thing. I live in Philadelphia, and uh, you don't know what it is happening out sometimes with the with the with all the noise outside. But uh, anyways, yeah. So stay safe, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you're drinking, you know what I'm saying? Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Stay hydrated. It's gonna be hot out there. I think there's a hurricane on the way too somewhere in the world. So if you're near that, stay safe with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna switch. I'm just sending y'all this love, positivity for the summer, man. I'll probably, I'm gonna try to do one of these at least once a week, and I gotta come up with a cool outro so I can like end it off on a cool note. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not a celebrity, bro, but you watch my podcast anyway. <laughs> if you're gonna watch it again, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, share it with a friend, all the good YouTuber stuff, bro. I'm tired of saying it. You know what to do. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, man. Peace. We're, not, we're definitely not gonna continue doing that. That was so corny. Goodbye. <laughs>